Natsuno Minami. She was the one who had that data unit. She seems to have a particular fondness for me. It appears she confessed her feelings to me. And I have yet to give her an answer. What was I going to do? has to be what I'm here for. Here, Sekigahara. Here to cause some more trouble? <sighs> Something wrong? No, nothing. Uh, let me guess. You finally lost your memories, right? <sighs> how... How did you know? Just by the way you're acting kind of a dead giveaway. I'm surprised you even made it back here. Do you know what I was trying to do here? That's odd. Okay, no. You're in my way. And you are? Hmm. <sighs> it didn't work. I suppose 32% wasn't enough. You recognize me, don't you? No, I don't. That can't be. <gasps> Focus. Hey, Okino. Take a good look at my face. I know you can remember. Basically the nanomachine equivalent of a virus program, except it causes brain damage. The infected will ultimately lose their memories, or end up as husks of themselves. It's likely the cause of my memory loss. Pills the android gave me in the underground facility in 2104. They slow the effects of DD-426. generation model sentinel number 19 so this is where it was transmitted is this a hangar for sentinels awfully persistent aren't you fine you got me I know it's you Okino even in this outfit you managed to catch me have you been in hiding ever since the incident? Just laying low in Sector 5? Tell me, Sekigahara-kun. Why were you searching for me? I need to stop the effects of DD-426. You're an expert on the subject, aren't you? I am indeed. It's a code that was distributed on the battlefield. Do you know who's responsible for spreading it? Uh, no. Right. 
This is exactly why I went into hiding. Because I can't trust anyone. And that includes you, A. Sekigahara. You were on the battlefield too. Yet you're not showing any symptoms. I could say the same about you. I'm taking pills to help reduce the symptoms. Pills? What are you taking? <sighs> These. I see. These serve as additional code for priority processing. These aren't going to save me. Of course they won't. All you're doing is buying yourself some time. What about you? You're completely healthy. There must be some way to stop it, right? I'm afraid that's impossible. It was about a year ago. I discovered a code created by 426. The aptly named DD-426. I tested it on myself in an attempt to detach the decode, which resulted in the loss of my memories. That's why I was unaffected on the battlefield. That can't be true. You don't seem like you've lost your memories at all. That's because I transferred my memories to my nanomachines, and I was able to create a simulated personality. It carries all the qualities that make up my identity. Let me get this straight. You're a program that's simulating Okino? Initially, yes. But now that I've been affixed to the brain, I've become the true Tsukasa Okino. I possess the original Okino's personality and memories. You can't even tell the difference. But you're still not the same. The Okino from before was different. Human beings are constantly evolving. Whether we retain our memories or not, we're never the same as our past selves. My goodness. Your pursuit of me caused quite the panic. Professor Doji wants to have me restrained. And now that you've caught me, maybe it's time I gave up. Oh. Perfect timing. Huh? Hijiyama-kun! Over here! Help! Huh? Kiriko-san! What's going on? Th that man! Hey! Who the hell are you? How'd you get in here? Please. Make him go away. Hold it, Okino! Not so fast, you bastard! You're coming with me! This is highly classified material, and you've seen too much. Damn you, Okino! Okino... Remember now? Tsukasa Okino. We met in Sector 5. Good. And you're an AI construct. Huh? Is that all? You've neglected to remember some rather important details. <sighs> Let's try this again. Okino, do you really have to stand so close to him? Don't pay him any mind. He's just jealous. Yeah, right. Now concentrate, A. Sekigahara. Try to remember why you kept coming back here. How are you feeling? My 
head feels like it's about to split in half. What about the pills? They aren't working. But you've taken so many of them already. They still aren't helping? We're ready to go. Oh. There was one thing I wanted to ask you. You seemed very reluctant to go through with this at first. But now you've come to rely on this plan. So what changed your mind? Nothing changed. I still think this is terrible. But there are some things I don't want to forget. Like that vile face of yours. I'll be sure to preserve that memory for you. Walk me through the steps once more. Sure. First, I'll input a memory extraction code into you. Your memories can be saved at any time. Your consciousness itself, though, can't be saved. Then, a simulated personality will... All I need is for you to save my memories. I don't want some AI taking over me. A simulated personality will think the same way you do. It'll be able to work together with your own brain. In other words, it will act as a support to your brain. The relationship is symbiotic. It'll teach your brain new ways to think and solve problems. But you will still be in charge of decision-making. I just... I hate myself. I really don't need a simulated personality. <laughs> All right. In that case, I'll simply extract your memories. After your memories are extracted, they'll be stored in your nanomachines. I'll configure it so when the decode region is detached, your memories will be backed up. We'll require an intracerebral map to save your memories, though it'll all be pointless if you end up as a husk. Your brain did have more damage than anticipated. My equipment can only do so much. I'll only be able to map roughly 30% of the region per scan. So you'll have to make multiple trips. Let's get started, shall we? Please, take a seat. I'm going to create your intracerebral map. We'll start with some word exercises. Try listing any words starting with A that come to mind. As you say each word, imagine the object in your head. A. Apple. Asphalt. Anchor.